of my other videos, you might have noticed that the intro song that just played was a little bit different. I used to rip off Mariah Carey's Always Be My Baby because I love that song. It's my favorite. It's my ringtone. It's my life. I wasn't even really concerned about being sued by Mariah Carey or anything because if I got sued by Mariah Carey, I'd be thrilled. If I got some kind of like cease and desist letter that was like on Mariah Carey letterhead, I would frame it and do whatever it said. But I just figured, I don't know, I should probably be safe on the YouTube end of things. I knew that I could get permission to use some of my husband's music, and so the song at the beginning is from one of his songs called Godly Girls off of his album, and I was listening through his album a little while ago trying to figure out, you know, which little clip I wanted to use, and his album is so good. That's my first May favorite. It's such a good album. I have one right here. It's called Audio Therapy by Solid McKnight. These are all the songs on the back. He finished this um, actually like right when we first met. So, oh my gosh, it's been like seven years since I met him. Woo, crazy. Um, and he was just finishing up this album and then um, as he was kind of not touring but like doing some performances, doing some concerts, um, I got to be his backup singer. We used to do a lot of that. We used to do a lot of shows and we'd go to churches or events or whatever and he would do his songs and I would get to sing back up on a couple of the songs so it was really fun so this whole album just brings back a lot of memories and he still does music every single day every day he like makes a beat and writes a beat but on this he didn't really do the beats he did the the lyrics and the, the rap and everything so this this album is so good I'm gonna link it below in case you are interested in like really encouraging uplifting just positive music that kind of gets you pumped up I mean some songs get you pumped up some some songs would like make you cry it's just a very, very good album. I'm not just saying that because he's my husband. I still would say that, but it really is good. Anyway, over the month of May, I just had a couple of things that I really enjoyed using or that just, you know, made my life a little bit easier. So I thought I would share those things with you. The first one is I went to Sephora looking for something else and I can't even remember what that was. I didn't get it, but I got distracted by this. This is just a little makeup pouch and I've just been putting, um, kind of my daily makeup in this so that I don't have to dig through everything I have. I don't have a ton of makeup. I have a drawer, a drawer of makeup. But you know, I've just been kind of using a lot of the same stuff lately and I put it in this bag, which I just think is really cute. And um, it came with all of these brushes and they have the same pattern on the handle as the brush. And then this part right here is rose gold and I just think they are so pretty. And these are like my new favorite brushes. So this one is like a buffing brush for foundation. Oh, it's so soft and this is fantastic. I love this. It works so well. Feels amazing. This one I've been using for my concealer. Like I just kind of blend out my concealer and then I just flip it over and like set my concealer with some powder and it's great. The other three are amazing also. So I don't know if this was like a limited edition set or what. It was already on sale when I bought it, but amazing and I hadn't I've, I've never had too many Sephora brushes in the past but now after using these I'm like ooh Sephora brushes are good I just have one other makeup item I can't remember if I've ever mentioned this before I might have but this is the L'Oreal true match concealer and this stuff is just fantastic I have the shade light medium in warm so they do like the warm cool neutral shades and it's really small I mean it just has like a little this is a new one actually because I ran out of my other one had to buy a new one um, it just has a little brush right here which wow is really hard to see and you just I just brush it underneath my eyes and then kind of down the bridge of my nose and wherever I need some concealer and this stuff just works great it's super creamy super blendable and I love it Moving on to a little skincare, I went to the body shop at the beginning of the month and got some really good stuff. So this um, vitamin C, what is it called, glow boosting moisturizer is really, really good. And one of the things that attracted me to it is that it says it's for dull, tired, grumpy skin. And that's how my skin felt, especially during finals and everything. And I was just so tired and you could see it in my skin. So I needed some new moisturizer anyway. I love that it's a gel. That is my favorite kind of consistency for moisturizer. It's not too heavy. It's not creamy. 
Mm, it smells so good. I mean, it smells citrusy, as you can probably tell by the packaging and the fact that it's a vitamin C moisturizer. And it just smells very zingy and just wakes up your skin in the morning and even kind of refreshes your skin at night. I've been using it day and night, and I love it. Another product from The Body Shop that I've been loving, I saw this on quite a few YouTubers' channels, I think last month. Um, this is the Drops of Youth Bouncy Sleeping Mask, and it looks like this. It's really large. This packaging is glass and sturdy and really nice. You get a lot in here. So it's a soothing, refreshing, and replenishing night cream gel. So again, I like, you know, the gel. It's a really strange consistency. It's kind of like, I can get it off. It's kind of like half set jello. You can kind of see there, it's a little wiggly. Um, and so it comes with this little spatula that I didn't bring out because I didn't want to lose it on accident. But you just take a tiny bit out on this spatula and then just smooth it over your face before you go to sleep. Um, it's invisible, it just, it blends out, it absorbs. Um, you can't see it, you can't really feel it. But when you wake up in the morning, your skin feels much more hydrated, much more refreshed. Um, it just has a slight scent, but it doesn't distract you at all while you're sleeping. It feels really good. And there's a ton in here, and you only use it at night, and you hardly use any. And I don't even use it every single night. So this is going to last me till like 2020. I don't know. <laughs> One last kind of beauty item is something I just recently got in my May BoxyCharm, and it's this Lauren B. Beauty Nail Polish. Everything seems so blurry today. I don't know why. But it's in the shade Sunset Tower, and I just think this is the nicest shade. It's kind of hard to tell on my fingernails because it's so neutral. The thing I like about it is that it's just really neutral. And I do bold nails quite often, but sometimes I just want something really easy that just looks good, but it's not even all that noticeable. And if it chips, I don't think anyone's going to notice. I'm hardly even going to notice. So this stuff is um, cruelty-free, vegan-free, you know, the five free, so it doesn't have any of those harsh chemicals in it. And it was like $18 regularly, but in my BoxyCharm, I just, you know, got it within my $21 BoxyCharm box. So I was really excited about this, and I have been loving it. I can see myself using this all summer. I don't come across enough disappointing products to make a disappointing products video, but I've seen a few people kind of just throw in some warning products into their favorites, and I thought I would do that this time. I feel bad, but this is the L'Oreal Ever Curl Sulfate Free System Shampoo and Conditioner, and you know, they said all the right things, all the right things. Um, Non-drying, anti-frizz system, it's sulfate free, it's for curly hair, and I was like, oh yeah, this is perfect. Um, they were like $7 each, I think. I got it at like Ralph's. It's bad. It's bad. It made my hair all of the opposite things that it claims. So it, my hair was really dry, it was extra frizzy, um, the ends of my curls would just like, like it looked really really bad and so one of the things that I just feel very strongly about with girls with curly hair a lot of girls hate their curly hair but really you probably just hate the product that you're using so don't blame your hair blame the product and I blame this it was bad it made my hair frizzy and dry and unmanageable so I tried some new shampoo and conditioner that I'm liking a lot better I've tried it like with my hair straight and with my hair curly just to make sure that we're good to go, but this, don't get tricked, don't get tricked. I have one fashion item that I put on Instagram a couple times, I think, uh, but these are these black kind of wedges, sort of, they almost look like little booties like from the front because this covers so much of your foot, but I love these. They're by Franco Sarto, which I have not heard of, but I got these at Marshalls for like $39, I think. And they are so comfortable. They look so cute on. If you want to see a picture, go to my Instagram at Too Cool for Middle School. And every day that I've worn these, people have been like, oh my gosh, those are the cutest shoes. And they really are. And they're just so comfy. I mean, this, I don't know if it's real leather or not, but whatever this stuff is, it's like butter on your feet. It feels so good. I mean, the wedge is pretty high, but so comfortable. Loving these. I have kind of a lifestyle item next. This is my new favorite mug. I love my blogger mug still, but I really like this one. Um, it says, it is well with my soul, which is one of my favorite, 
favorite hymns of all time. I also put this on my Instagram and kind of told the story about uh, the man who wrote this hymn. His name is Horatio Spafford and short version. He lost everything. He lost all of his investments in the Chicago Fire. This was in the 1800s. He um, sent his family to Europe and four of his daughters drowned on the way to Europe. His wife survived. He went over to meet her in Europe and at the spot in the middle of the Atlantic where his daughters drowned, all four of them, he wrote this song, this prayer that just says, it is well with my soul. And oh, it makes me tear up just to even think about that. Um, I remember hearing this story when I was really little, I would listen to those Focus on the Family like radio programs. And so I've known this story forever and it's always just made me love this hymn. And every time I, I sing it or I kind of hear these words, like I just think about the things in my life that I'm not well with, like I'm very stressed out about or that do not sit well with my soul and that I get angry at the Lord about. And so if Horatio Spafford can tell the Lord it is well with my soul about everything that he lost, then, you know, I can do it about anything. I've, I've never experienced loss like that. So um, just having this mug reminds me of it and, and I really like it. Um, it's made by an, a girl who has an Etsy shop, I love Etsy, called Laurenish Designs, and I will link the, the shop below. She's out of Redlands, which is not super far from here. I got married in Redlands, actually. <laughs> that was the only time I've ever been there, but that was a very special day. One suggestion I have as well is that she sells like a, a set of four of these mugs that all have like a different phrase on them from different hymns and I thought that would be a really cute wedding gift for like a, a new couple starting out if they like this kind of a thing. So within this mug <laughs> I have also been loving my manatee. So this is a little tea diffuser and he is so cute. Look he just hangs out on the side of your cup. I love this. My husband like cannot get enough of this thing. He just cracks up every time I use it. Isn't it so adorable? And so the reason I got this actually is because um, at Starbucks, I think this was over like Christmas time, but they got new teas. And my husband really likes this um, pineapple Kona pop tea. It's loose leaf. So I don't know if you can see in there, but it's loose leaf. Mm, it smells really good. This is a really unique tea, and this is also one of my favorites. I definitely recommend this. Ooh. But you have to have a diffuser, like a tea, or infuser, I think they call it an infuser. So you fill, this seems so violent, but you fill his little body with the tea, and then you put it on top, or put it back on, and then you drop it into your teacup and just kind of let it sit with hot water. It takes a little bit longer to infuse into your water than a normal tea bag, but this tastes amazing, especially with a little bit of honey. Um, in the spring and summertime, it's a really nice tea just to sip on at night when you're kind of hot, but I still just, I like tea every single day. I always have to have tea. So I've been drinking that a lot and using my manatee and my mug that just puts all of my ish into perspective. The last item I have is an item but really a website that I think is really cool. Um, you can print off these little like inspirational quotes off of this website called Doodle Art Alley. I've been printing these out for my students especially at the end of the year as like some of them were taking finals, some of them were done, some kids are trying to wrap other things up, some kids are done, some want to watch this movie that we're watching, some don't. So um, they're actually pretty intense like they're, they're fairly complicated and pretty time consuming and so I just put these out with um, some crayons or colored pencils or whatever and it takes kids like hours and they're like and they're you know concentrating so hard and so I told them they could save this and like put it in their binder next year because I think this would be such a cute thing to have like in the front of your binder or if they wanted to donate them back to me then I would take them and a lot of kids just did too and donated some back to me and then I'm gonna decorate you know my bulletin boards with these at the beginning of next year before I really have any student work to put up I'll just put up these inspirational quotes from the kids from last year and they have I don't know maybe almost a hundred quotes to choose from probably um, in all different categories. So go to Doodle Art Alley and this could be your savior for the end of the school year. So anyway, this video is getting pretty long, but there was just a lot of good stuff in my life in May. May was a hard month, but a good month. And I'm looking forward to June. It's gonna be another 
hard month. I have a lot of work ahead of me, but you know, again, I'm kind of looking forward to the end when I will have accomplished almost everything I need to accomplish for the summer. So um, I'll be making some more videos this summer about what I'm doing and kind of share that journey with you a little bit. If you're interested, I have an Instagram account, Too Cool For Middle School, a Facebook page, Too Cool For Middle School, and a blog, TooCoolForMiddleSchool.wordpress.com. So I would love to connect with you on any of those levels. I also have Twitter and I can't remember what my Twitter handle is. I'll do it in the next video. And I have Snapchat and I can't remember my Snapchat handle, so I will put all that stuff in later. But anyway, again, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you very soon. Bye.